Hey guys, this is Steve. Welcome back to the Tired Dad Tech. Uh, today we're going to go over a couple of ways on um, three, maybe four ways on how we can Im Im improve our disk space usage as well as our disk performance. Now, quick two things though. There are two types of storage that can be used in a computer now. We have our newer solid state drives, which are a lot faster because there's no moving parts, but they're also a lot smaller. And then there's our traditional spinning disk hard drives which are in massive capacities now and are much less expensive. There's two ways of treating those. So let's get that started. First thing we know that Windows is a very sloppy housekeeper. So we're going to take a look at that first to recover some, some disk space there. Whenever Windows does Windows updates, it always leaves traces behind so that you can roll back should something go wrong. But after a little while, your computer's run, running fine. You don't need that. And there are those of us who have never done this. You can recover a lot of space. Now, as you can see, I've got two drives here. I've got my primary drive, uh, which is a 512 gig uh, solid state drive, no moving parts, so it's really fast. And then I've got our traditional spinning disk, which is formatted at three terabytes, which of course, with the formatting and all that stuff, gets down to like 2.72. Plenty of room for, for me for now. So we're gonna right click our local disk C. We're gonna come down to properties. And right here we see our happy disk cleanup. Now, initially, it doesn't look like you can recover a lot of data, only like, you know, 81.3 meg, which is nothing. Here's the important one. You're going to click on clean up system files. And then it's going to scan a little bit deeper, see what else I can get. Now, come on, Bubba. It's going to look at win Windows updates, some old cookies, some old temp files. That's more like it. You can hear, see we have about 5.82 gig, which is almost six gig of space to recover. So we're gonna click on okay. I'm gonna delete these and it's gonna do its thing. And this is gonna take a little bit. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a fast forward on this and we'll do that. Alright, this is taking too long for me to record, but you get the idea. So I'm just going to click cancel here and see how long it takes for this to cancel. I'm going to do that on my own time. So if you do this at home, uh, walk away, do it before you go to the store, do it before you go to bed, do it before you go to work, do it before you go watch a movie or whatever. Do it then. Alright, another one that I'd like to show you guys is this neat utility that's called Windurstat. Windows Directory Statistics. This has been around for a long time. I use it. Um, I used to use it at work. I used to use it every, everywhere else. So you're going to go to windurstat.net. And if you lose that, I'm going to put a link in the description down there or over there. Or I don't know how this is going to go out. So anyway, so Windurstat takes a look at all your folders, all your files, and see which one's taken up the most space. 
and you can either kill it, move it, or back it up, or do whatever you want to do, do with it. So we're going to go over here to our downloads, and then we're going to go to download Winderstat 1.1.2. It's been at that version forever. Go down to FOSS Hub, and then you can go ahead and download the installer. And when you and when you get it, you just run it, install it. There's there's none of that freeware stuff that makes you opt into things. It's very straightforward. Uh, if you do find out that does happen, let me know, and I'll be sure to update the video. So when I run Winderstat, let's search Winder Winderstat, it comes up with this. And um, I'm going to click on my C drive. I'm going to click on OK. And what it's going to do is it's going to scan the entire folder structure of the drive that you chose. And I'm just going to scan through everything and see what comes up. So again, if you've got more stuff, this will take longer. If you've got less stuff, this will take longer. Sorry, if you've got less stuff, this will take less time. Uh, if you're on a, tr a traditional spinning disk type hard drive, this will take longer. Uh, and if you're on a solid state drive like I am, this should go a little bit quicker. Now, spoiler alert, I know what a lot of my stuff is lately. Uh, I took a lot of photos uh, over the weekend. Um, my wife and I shot some video over the, oh, over the weekend at a black belt exam. So there's a lot of stuff on here. I know where, where all that's from. Also, too, a lot of my stuff is from gaming. Uh, a lot of these new games take up a lot of data. And with their constant updates and their constant refreshes, uh, it does do that. So it looks like we're just about done here. And then you're going to get a visual representation of your hard drive and what that all takes. So here we are. This is what my hard drive looks like. So short version, the larger the, the box or the bubble looking thing, the larger the file. So this is my page file you can't you can't delete this this is what windows uses should should you run out of ram um during your daily processes which i doubt many of you do um it'll hit the page file so what happens is it dumps the memory that's it dumps the data that's not being used to your hard drive so that data can be loaded into it i'll have a, a quick thing on that later on um in a different video when i show you guys a a, sim, a, a simple ram or memory upgrade so you can't really delete that the hibernation file there is a way to delete that i have to show you guys again in a different video but as you can click around here it tell it tells you what the largest files are so again this is all of my this is all of my games and like i said before spoiler alert i know where a lot of this stuff is so if i go to my users i go to here and i go to my desktop my desktop is 37 gig worth of data and about 35 of that is the videos and multiple copies of the photos that I took. So that's what that is. So simply you can do a, a couple of things here. You can either, oh, I know where that's at. I'm just going to right click on the, I'm going to find it, right click on it and delete it. Or you can go right from here and you can right click your copy, right? Right click and delete. And you've got two options. It dumps it to your recycle bin, so if you have second thoughts, you can bring it back. Or if you know you don't need it, you're not going to need it, it's a copy like I have here, you can just de delete it, and it's gone for good. So those are your two options. So that is Winderstat, very quickly. Another way that you can do is just go through your programs. If you go to Start, you if you right-click on Start, and you go to Search, and you do... I can't spell words. If you go to programs, you go to add or remove programs. And this will show all the applications that are installed in your in your computer. Again, spoiler alert for me, I know what I have here. But this is what you can do at, at home to see what's taking up all that space. You go to sort by size. And of course, 45 gig is StarCraft, 36 and a half gig is you know XCOM 2, OO. Surprise, surprise, my top 10 is mostly games. But for yourself, you can go through and see, well, you know what? I don't use this one. I can just uninstall it. It'll recover that space. I don't use this one. I can, you know, uninstall it, re recover all, all that space. So that's what you can do. Uh, that's that. So that's three ways that you can look, 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 look at to recover space. 
Now, bonus for you guys that still have spinning hard drives. Uh, Windows, again, is a sloppy house housekeeper. It doesn't really optimize spinning disks well anymore. But I do have for you guys. There's a program that, that is called Defragler. It's been around for a while. And there's arguments on both sides that you don't need to do it. When, when Windows takes care of physical hard drives, um, it's okay. But I found out a while ago that I didn't defrag my storage drive for a couple years. And it was slow, it was bogging down. And that's what that flashing drive light is when your hard drive is so slow. This will kind of put everything back to where it's supposed to. Like I said before, um, Windows is a very sloppy house housekeeper. As you bring up files, as you were, as you go to open up programs, as you go to view your pictures, if you go to view downloaded movies, Windows puts it back where it puts it back. It never puts it back properly. This takes your entire file system or your entire filing cabinet worth of stuff and it puts it all back together. It puts it all back where it's supposed to go. So I just uninstalled mine so you can see what this looks like only because there is ads on the site, which is harmless. But the thing with the Fraggler is there, there's, there's a couple of opt-out things and I wanna make sure that you see the choices that I make. So I go to run it, you're, you don't see the, I don't, I don't know if you see that on my, on my screen or not, but you know, Windows says, do you wanna do this pro, pro, program? And I say, yeah, let's get rid of this. So we're gonna say yes. And here you have a few, uh, few options. I'm not gonna add it to my desktop, but I will add it to my start menu. I will not add it to my Windows Explorer to your folder options. I will not replace the Windows disk defrag and I will not have it automatically checked for updates. That's just me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna install it and we're done. Now again, let's see what this thing looks, looks like. Now, word of caution, do not run defrags on your solid state drive. Solid state drives have, even though their drive rights are in like the hundreds of millions, correct me if I'm wrong, or it's, let's just say in the millions that you can write files to this stuff millions of times before they start to actually degrade. Um, operating sy sy systems like Windows and Linux and Mac all take care of this for you. As much as I say Windows is a sloppy housekeeper, leave the solid state drives alone. Do not defrag a drive. It will create writes that are unnecessary and will wear the drive out sooner. So again, this is for physical disks. If you've got a spinning disk drive, that's what this is for. So right here, let me just get in here a little bit. Oops, that was weird. Cool. Do one of these, do one of these, and bring it down here. So we're gonna go ahead and click on, click on my thing and click defrag. And now what defrag will do is it'll build a file list and all of these will eventually become no, I'm going to stop it right here. I'm going to pause it. These are all of my files that are in red that are not put away. Now, this takes a whole lot of time. So I'm going to stop it. This takes a whole lot of time. This is one of those things to where you run it and you walk away. But here's a neat feature. If you keep your computer on all the time, you can schedule this to run. So you can go... Where is it? It's been a while since, since, since I've done it. You're going to go to your settings. You're going to go to schedule. And I want to do my drive D. And I can schedule it. Weekly, monthly. Never do it at startup. That's just asking for trouble. But when I had a spinning disk drive before, and um, actually I, I, I still do, and my com com computer is typically always on, I'll set this to weekly. And I'm going to start it, I don't know, tomorrow, Friday at 3 a.m. I'm never awake on Fridays at 3 a.m. So every week on Fridays. So 511, make sure my day's right. Yeah. And then, and then it's going to do a full, de a full defrag and you're done. So to go over a few things. We took a look at re recovering space using win using Windows Cleanup, which is built into every Windows operating system. Using add remove programs to pull systems. I'm sorry, to pull pro programs that you no longer use. And we've used 
the, the really neat and small application called Windurstat to find out exactly what the heck is taking up all of my space. And as a bonus for those hard drive users, I showed you guys a Piriform Defragler. Again, uh, links, be links below in the description. And again, you know, tell me what you guys use. Uh, do you guys still feel that defrag is necessary? I feel I do. I feel that when I'm going through stuff, when I'm going to edit and things of that nature, uh, I find that this kind of picks picks things up to me. So I still use it. So what do you guys use? And if you guys recommend anything to me, be like, hey, Steve, um, I've used this. Try this. Oh, okay, cool. I'll I'll gladly take a uh, I'll I'll gladly take a take a peek at it. So um, if you like the video, leave a leave leave a like and as always subscribe click the bell so you know when i'm doing anything and uh as always i'm gonna hit stop record now i try to do the smooth but it doesn't work when i'm recording little secret as always i'll see you